Yes, here he is. Victor Stone, star quarterback for the night. Shit, okay. He's not cyborg yet. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Las Vegas residency. Illusions juggling in zebras. No, that is not Diana. Aquaman. Aquaman? Is that like a super mermaid? No, Albert, he's not a super mermaid. Okay, he's he's half Atlantean, half human with superhuman strength who can control marine life with his mind. So like a super mermaid? No, Albert. <laughs> that is what you described. Let's try Arthur Curry, Maine, Lighthouse. Here we are. Thomas Curry. That's done. Uh, phone. Hello. Uh, hello, uh, Thomas Curry. Yes. Could I speak to Arthur? Is Arthur around? You want to speak to my dog? No, no, um, sorry, uh, is this Thomas Curry? Yes. And you work at a lighthouse? Yes. Okay, and your wife is the Queen of Atlantis? Yes. Uh, no. Uh, right, but maybe, maybe a, um, a fish-like woman washed into your life at, at some point or another? Very funny, I saw. Arthur Curry was never born. I, I, I completely destroyed history. Like Eric Stoltz. Wait, why do you keep saying Eric Stoltz? Eric Stoltz and Mike McBride. What? Time travel? Oh, you talking to me yet? Come on, who is this guy? Okay, yeah, no, I know, I've seen all of them, and Eric Stoltz is not Marty McFly. Really? They explain Marty McFly here. Can't explain that to you, Gary. That's not your thigh. It's the wrong actor, and it's upside down. Is it? The point is that in Back to the Future, Marty McFly is very famously played by Michael J. Fox. The guy from Footloose? No, that's Kevin Bacon. Bacon. Kevin Bacon's Maverick with the volleyball, the gay guys in the planes. Top Gun. Great balls of fire. Top Gun. No, no, no. Right? I completely broke the universe. Marty McFly is Eric Stoltz. Yes, thank you. I created a world with no metahumans. And now there's no one to defend us from Zion. And Albert! There's no Cyborg. There's no Aquaman. There's no Wonder Woman. There's no Superman. There's no Batman. I'm Batman.